Hello felting friends. This is Dawn from Chicken Run Creations and we are going to start a new series. Um, I just finished making a simple little fox. If you saw that, if you didn't, go back and watch that. We're going to do another fox, but this time we're going to do something a little more realistic and we're going to use um, an armature for it. Um, so I did a little sheep video not too long ago using a pipe cleaner armature. Very simple, basic. This one will be a little bit more in depth. And I found a really great resource on Etsy. Um, let's see. Pre Prima Felt Wire Armatures. Um, I'll, I'll put a link down below, but there's so far she's put out two of these really nice looking um, um, basically PDF that you can print off that gives you a really simple armature that you can use to make your animals and um, I mean there's all sorts of ones here and I mean you can modify the size some bigger ones. I think I have two sets here that I have gotten from her. Um, so I'll put a link down below where you can find these. It's um, They're pretty cool. There's some bigger ones here. So anyway, we're doing a fox, which is right here. And I'm going to put my notebook away here. Um, I already made up you can see that I don't have my little mat here. So, um, I already made up the Fox. You can see it's a little bit bigger than what it is. Um, she gives you how much, what you need. So we're going to make this. I'll show you how to do that. Um, but I wanted to show you first, um, some other things that you're going to need to do this. So I have my little, Thing. I'll put that away. One thing I like to do is to print off some pictures of what I'm going to make. And I like to get one that's pretty close to the size that I'm going to make it so I can kind of use it for dimensions and stuff. So this one's pretty close. Um, you can see the legs kind of fit in there pretty good. So I have that and then I also printed off a few other pictures here that I can use for reference on, you know, making the face and stuff. I could have used this one, but um, when I took the background out, because the back, the, the the fox is standing on like a rock or something here, and it kind of lost his feet, so um, I decided to go with that other one. So it's good to have a, a, a some pictures that you can refer to. Also, you're going to need your wire. So you have a couple options for wire. Um, as I did the um, the little sheet that I made, I just used pipe cleaners because it wasn't very big. You probably could use pipe cleaners for this as well, um, since it's not very big. But I think it would. I think you should probably use something a little bit firmer. Now this isn't like super thick, um, and I could double wrap it. And I could like wrap pipe cleaner around it even, um, which uh, I might do. I'm not sure. This that I used is floral stem wire. It actually has a coating on it, um, which I really liked. I don't know if you can see that, but it's actually got a coating wrapped on it. If you do a regular wire, you kind of need to definitely go over it with the pipe cleaner. So if I use just this regular green floral wire. Um, you want to wrap it with pipe cleaner just so the wool has something to adhere to like that. Um, or you can use um, wax, um, be like beeswax on it to help hold the, um, the wool to it. Um, but I used, um, I used this wire and I'll see if I can find it in this. I got at Hobby Lobby, but I'll see if I can find the link to it on Amazon and put it down below. I use this. Um, I made a little mouse and I put it away. I'll throw a picture of it 
up here using this wire and I didn't like it. So um, I think I'm going to use it again to do our little fox here. So I have that, but like I said, you could use the green wire. You can use the things. I found this um, at Hobby Lobby on clearance, Chanel stems. I've never seen anything like this before. Um, I guess it's basically pipe cleaner, but if you can see, it's in a spiral form, kind of different from the traditional pipe cleaners that we usually get. So um, I imagine this would be the same as using a pipe cleaner. I think they feel about the same. So, so those are your options as far as what you can use as far as the wire goes. Um, like I said, we're going to use this fabric or this coated wire. And let me get my little instructions here and get my little ruler here. So to do the fox, you can see this, she has, um, this is all done in centimeters and then she has the equivalent in inches, which is good and not good because, you know, what is 0.39 inches. So what I have done is I've kind of converted them over to, um, my, my little, um, ruler here has millimeters instead of centimeters. So I can just, um, you know, add 10 to what the centimeters are to get the millimeters. So this is kind of what I'm using. Um, so to start, we need three wires. So we need for the, um, body and the hind legs, we need an 18.3 inch wire. And these wires are, let's see if it says 18 inches. So it's a little shy of the 18.3, but it worked. So, and then you need, um, the head and front legs are 44 centimeters or 17.32 inches. And then for the tail, you need 18 centimeters or seven inches. So I have my wires already cut. I just used a pair of, um, wire cutters that came in my Amazon um, needle felting kit. They work really well. I just cut those to save us some time. So to get started making our little fox here, we are going to start with the smaller wire, the 17.32 or 44 centimeters wire. Okay. So I'm going to set those aside. So what you want to do is you want to fold your wire in half as much as you can. And I'm just going to kind of, hopefully I stay in the frame here. <laughs> Yell at me if I don't. So we need a total of seven centimeters or 70 millimeters for this head section here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get it apart now. I'm just going to, let's see, easiest way to do this. Well, maybe not. I'm going to hold it in my left hand because I'm right handed and I'm putting my, my thumb and fourth, my thumb and first pointer finger on the two wires. It's crossed over and I'm going to do it like this. You don't want to wrap like this because then your, your ends won't be the same length. So I'm just going to do it like this and I'm going to check it after a few turns here. And I want to get to 70 millimeters. Get this back to where it was here. So I'm just going to turn this down a little bit. Not quite there yet. Few more turns. Uh, okay, so we're just about at 70. So you can see my the two other parts here are still the same length by turning it that way. If you take it, let me see, let me show you with the pipe cleaner here. If you take your thing and you just wrap like this, what's going to happen is they're going to end up being different lengths. So you want to do it this way to keep them the same length turning this way. Okay. So now I have my head at seven centimeters or 70 millimeters. So now if you can 
Hopefully you can see this. Um, so there's a little branch here that comes off and this is where we're going to connect the body wire to the front leg wires. So this is, these are your front legs right here and we're going to connect the body right here. I'm not going to worry about bending this part yet. So I'm going to take my longer piece and I'm going to fold it in half again. Kind of pinch the end there. And keeping these separate like that, I'm going to take my piece. Oops. And I'm going to bring it around like that. So here you can see this is the body. These are the legs. We're going to need to make this little section right here. So what I'm going to do is, if I can show this on camera, hopefully, I have my two legs going out the sides here. I have my back going here. So what I'm going to do, these are under this part here. I'm going to twist these two pieces together and these two pieces together doing the same, the same kind of twist. And I'm going to just twist it two times. Maybe it's only like one time because it's like a half. So there's one twist, two twists, and I'm going to stop there. And I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm going to go one twist, two twist. So now my legs are still back out here at the side and this is here and this should be it says one centimeter so mine is just about 10 millimeters so that's about where we want it to be and then it doesn't really matter where this starts to twist again so i'm just going to give it one twist here just to kind of hold it in place this is kind of the the back neck well not quite the neck but just the back part there okay so i just gave this a couple twists to hold it Okay, so now, um, let's see, we have our, we have our legs here. This is the back side. So this part is nine centimeters. So we're going to go, um, from here and I can kind of squeeze this a little bit to make it more straight. Basically, I want to go 90 millimeters. So if I start right here. I'm like at 30 at the moment. So, so let's do this. Some more twisting here. And this is his back. And I'm going to measure from there to there. So we're at 70. So a few more. So again, making sure you twist from the middle. And there we're at 90. Okay. So now these become the back legs or the front legs and the back legs. Um, I'm not too worried about them not being the same length at this point in time. So now we're going to do the tail. So we're going to do the same thing that we did up here with the tail. So I'm going to fold my tail in half. This is a little weird feeling. Kind of sticky. Um, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to bring it up around here and we're going to do this exact same thing that we did with the front. I'm going to twist one, two, and then do the same over here. One, two. So here's my tail and I'm just going to move the legs out of the way. And now I'm going to turn the tail just all the way down. Okay. And then I'm just going to take the tail, the two ends, and just fold them over just so we don't have the pokey end sticking out there. Okay. So now we have the head, the front feet, and the back feet. Now let's go through and make our measurements here. So 
the head is split in half so three and a half centimeters by three and a half centimeters so I'm at 70 centimeters so at 35 centimeters which is right here I'm going to bend this down a little bit and I'm going to bend that up a little bit okay so there's his head so now his legs front legs back legs so we're down 15 or 1.5 centimeters and then 3.5 centimeters 3.5 centimeters 1.5 centimeter and 1.5 centimeter so if my measurements are all right we should be able to do that um so now here you can see his leg is forward so it's really kind of straight and then here he's got his paw kind of bent backwards um i'm just going to because that would be kind of you know if you want to have him walking which you can do after the fact so here's the one that i've already made so i could potentially just kind of bend this back a little bit but since i'm just going to have him stand i'm just going to leave it like this so let's start here so we want to go down and i find it's easier to do them together so if you just kind of push them together like this so i want 15 millimeters so there's 15 and so this one is starting kind of bent forward so i'm going to bend this one back like that okay so that's the first bend and then we want to go 3.5 centimeters or 35 millimeters so there's my 35 so this one is forward this one's back so this bend is forward so i'm going to bend this forward okay and then we go another 3.5 centimeters so 35 is there and then this one well because we're gonna do we're gonna do the bend in the paw just to get the folds and then we can make them stand straight so there's that then we have one and a half or 15 so that goes there and then another 15 is there okay so we have one two three four five so i have extra here and all i do is i could cut them off but i'm just gonna fold it over like so it just gives a little extra yeah that one doesn't seem right let's see i bet that one too close there you go okay so there are his front legs so if you can see that okay now the back legs do the same thing kind of put them together so here we have 35 centimeters so let's go or 3.5 centimeters sorry so 35 millimeters so this is kind of bent forward a little bit so we're going to bend this back and then we have another 3.5 so this one we're going to kind of bend this way then we have 2.5 so 25 and this one's going to go forward and then 1.5 so they're pretty close okay so there we go so this i'm just going to straighten the legs i'm going to bring i'm going to bring his foot out this way and technically so you can see this here we have after this would be straight down so i'll just make this straight like so and then 
Just kind of finagle it a little bit. Let's be a little bit more flat. Okay, and there we have our fox. His tail can come down. So, basic armature. It's not too hard once you've done a few. It, it took me a little while to kind of figure them out, but um, really simple. So we have our armature made, and the next thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to cover, um, give everything a light covering of core wool. And my pieces of core here. So move this out of the way. Move that out of the way. Grab my pad here. It's all red because I just made my little mouse a mushroom umbrella. So I'm gonna have to give this some coating, a new coating here. All right, so I just have some pieces of core wool here that I've. They were kind of messed up on the last batch of core that I have, but they'll work out well for giving this a little coating. So I don't want it to be the stuff out of the way because I don't need it at the moment. I don't want it to be too thick. And actually, I might want to... Where's my pictures here. I might actually want to do his feet in black. As you can see here, the bottom part of his feet are black. So I'm, I won't cover the feet because they're, they're fairly thin. Well, I guess I could go over it in a really thin core. I don't know. I'm going to wait on the feet and decide what I want to do. I just want to Kind of pinch these together a little bit here on the ends. Actually, I don't know if I want to cut that off. We'll see how that is. Okay, so I'm going to start with a fairly thin piece here. We're going to start with his body. Well, yeah, we'll start with this body here. I'm just going to spread his legs out a little bit to make it easier. So I just want a pretty thin covering over here. Oops, anyway, just so we have something to adhere the rest of our felting to. All right, need to move the needles out of the way. So I'm just going to keep it flat. I'm going to just put these down. I'm just going to tack this in up here a little bit so it doesn't come undone on me. Okay, so I'm just going to Right on now, this piece is probably a little too long to work with. Trying to avoid the ends here. All right, I'm going to take it down the tail. And I want to kind of go over the end here a little bit so that piece of wire is covered well. So I'm just going to go over and then just, I'm just going to come back a little bit here. You want to wrap it really tight. Go over the legs it smooth. It's a little awkward working around the legs. 
I'm just going to take this up until I can't go up anymore. And I'm just going to tack it down here a little bit. Just be careful that you don't hit your wire. You break a needle down there, down that. Just, just giving it enough to kind of hold it in place, especially where we started and stopped. I'm just slightly going over it here. All right, let's wrap his head next. I don't think I need that big of a piece. All right, so I'm going to keep his head in this position. Um, let's see, where's my sheet here? So you can see this is his neck and this is his head. So I'm going to kind of, I mean, He'll be able to move his head up and down a little bit. We're going to try and keep it that way, though, to start with. So I'm going to start this right over here where I already have some wool. And I'm going to just tack it down here a little bit to keep it in place. Alright. So now we'll wrap his head and you want to keep it straight and smooth and again like we did on the tail go past it the edge of your wire a little bit and then I'm just gonna Bring it back up and around. Again, this is just so we have a base to work with. And I'll just tack it down a little bit here. They're um, kind of awkward to work with when you first start the armatures. Once you actually get covering everything, it's not too bad, but at first, trying to work with everything. Okay. Unless they keep catching on everything. I'm going to keep these straight. Okay, so we get that part done now. I think I'm going to I'll give a really thin coat of core on the top because so when you look at your pattern here, see this part of your wire is all going to be encased into your body. So it's not even going to be seen. It's only this bottom part that would be seen. So I'm going to wrap, I think I'll wrap, let's see, at least to here in the core. And since this hind leg is a little bit thicker, maybe I'll wrap down to here in the core. So let me put that there. Um, I think that's going to be long enough. I'm going to try and get a piece that's long enough. Alright. I'm going to 
going to be this is probably too long but I can tear it off oops go back here little fox okay so it's probably too long but all right so I'm gonna start up here let me just give this a few pokes here all right so I'm gonna wrap only to here let me thin this out a little bit here and just only one <laughs> layer and I can probably go two layers because this is all going to be enclosed into the body so so I'll take it back up sometimes it's easier to kind of turn your project I suppose it it's really taken me quite a while to you know, figure out all this wrapping and stuff. I'm just going to take it right over his body and then do the other one since I have a long enough piece here. I'll stick it back up. And we can wrap this right around his body here to finish it off. And give it a few stabs. Hopefully I'm still in frame here. This is kind of hard to, to work. I can probably raise my phone up a little bit. And all I'm doing is I'm just tacking this down. Okay. So I want to try and keep the bends in here so I know where they are. All right, so let's do the same with the back and the back legs we can come down to here with the core I think so let's see here let's see how this goes so again try and keep it flat his front legs out a little bit here. My piece is probably a little too long. Try and keep it flat. And I'm going to go back up. Keep it tight and not twisted. Okay, now that we're here, I'll go around to the other side. it down here.
Right. Yeah. <laughs> the problem with wire is it gets stuck on everything. Just kind of smoothing this out a little bit, tucking in any stray pieces. You don't have to spend a whole lot of time that. All right, so now I just want to re find my bends. So, um, I don't, let's see, let me grab, I don't know if I have any black, this front leg's like a little wonky there just because of the wool. All right, turn this back this way. Let me find some black. All right. Let's decide here what we want to use. I have from Cupid Falls Farm again. Get rid of this for the moment. I have this is Thunder, which kind of has you see that has some white flex in it. This is Silver Mocha. Okay, so this is more of a a brown, a dark brown color. I think we want to go with the thunder so we'll put, yeah, I'll put that back after the fact so I think let me see where am I in my video here I think we will go I I, I want to get these ends covered up because they catch on everything so uh, I probably should go with a Slightly longer piece than that. All right, I'm just gonna pull this. So I don't want his legs to get too fat. I have a hard time keeping my legs not too fat. Actually, I might just split this even more. Okay, I'm not sure how this wool is gonna work. I haven't used this wool for legs before, but I'm gonna open this up. Just. that down a little bit there all right so I'm gonna start at the top now if you look at the picture there's there's some red up here but that's okay we can cover that up and the same here there's some white in there we can cover that up we're just gonna just to get the the wire covered we're gonna do this so I'm just gonna start here at the white a little bit and I'm gonna try and get this other stuff out of the way Wrap down, and we can we can give him more coats of this as needed. But I figured I'll just start use the black. You could do core first, and then cover it with black. My problem is I always find that it gets I always get too bulky with it. So if you don't have that problem. Do the core first whoops all right this is always an issue for me we get to the end of the wire here let's see if i can do this because you want to kind of go over the end of the wire because you don't want it sticking out yep break it off and then want to come back so because this is a little bit 
thinner than the core. We'll probably definitely need to build it up a little bit, but let's just get it covered here. I'm just going to wrap that last bit around there, put his leg out, and tack it into place. Okay, so there's one leg, let's see here, sure if that's long enough, we'll try that, do a second leg here, I apologize if I'm getting off camera. Okay, wrap it past the wire and come back down. And let's get it tacked in. his front feet. Now let's just do the back. Small sections here. Probably break that in half. I used to spend hours and hours trying to figure this out. Okay, one down, one to go. I think that's pieces. Mm -hmm. So there's enough here. Not quite up to the top again with that piece, but it's all right. It'll get under their coat for sure. And they're pretty scrawny legs. Okay. 
Okay, and there we go. Our fox has his first coat on. His legs are a little wonky, but once we actually get them formed, my thing's not very level either. Um, so yeah, so very simple, basic. I can probably go back through and touch this up a little bit, but everything's going to get another coating. Um, for sure. I mean, this hind leg is a lot thinner than this hind leg here. So, um, so yeah, so there we have the beginnings of our, our more in detail fox. Um, get my little picture here so you can see how he fares to the picture. And I'm going to stop this video here and I might clean up some of the stray a little bit off camera but um next video we will start to um, build up his body and see where we go so thanks for watching if you um like these kind of videos please um, give them a thumbs up and comment below let me know what other things you'd like to see me attempt to make like i said i've only been doing this a few years and i still have a lot to learn but um I'm game for trying anything, so let me know, and please, um, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, share my videos, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.